Hello everyone, in this series of videos, I will show you how to create an add-on game in Unity 3D. In this first video, I will show you how to set up a project. So the first thing we're going to do here is to create a canvas. So I'm going to go into the hierarchy, right click on it, look for UI, and then canvas. I'm not going to change the name of the object. However, in the components of the canvas, I'm going to change the canvas scaler, and I'm going to change the UI scale mode. So by default, the UI scale mode is set to constant pixel size, and I'm going to change that to scale with screen size. I will change the reference resolution. So for X, I'm going to put 1080, and for Y, I will put 1920. So the references I have here are for an HD portrait mode. And the second thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to change from the scene view to the game view. And here, instead of having three aspects, I'm going to create a new aspect. I'm going to name that HD portrait. And I will put the same resolutions. I put 1080 and then 1920. Now we can see that we have the view of a portrait mode. If I double click on my canvas subject in the scene view, I can see that it's fitting uh, what we have here. So right here, we just have a canvas subject, but there is pretty much nothing happening. And we also have a 3D view by default, so I'm going to change that to a 2D view. I'm just going to click on the 2D button here. And now we have a 2D view. So the next thing I'm going to do is right click on the canvas object, then UI, and I'm going to create an image. This image will serve as a background. So right now we can see it's a very small square that is white. So I'm going to change the color to have some gray. In the Rect Transform component of the image, I will click on the Echo Preset object and I will change the anchoring from middle center to straight. And once I've done that, I will change the values of all the components, so left, top, right, and bottom, to zero. So left zero, top zero, right zero, and bottom zero. What it does here is my image is stretched to match the size of the parent component, which in our case is the canvas, which is like the root component of uh, the UI. And it's stretched to just fit everywhere. So now our image is taking the whole size of the canvas and the whole game. Now that we have a background, I will create two new objects. The first thing I'm going to do is create a UI image, um, a UI text. And now in Unity, you pretty much have to use the Text Mesh Pro um, package. So in this case, you will have a window saying to import the Text Mesh Pro Essentials. So just click on it, and it should be quite fast. And once this is done, you don't really have to import the examples or extras. So you can just close the window. So right here, we have a new object called text. And I'm going to rename that into money text. And I'm going to change the font size to have something bigger, like 90. And I'm going to change the size of the object to be also bigger. So everything will be clear. So by changing the width and the height of the object in the rect transform to 400, you can see that the object is now bigger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the move tool here, and I will move that at the very top. And one last thing about this object is from the anchoring, instead of having middle center here, I want to have top and center. It means that this text object would always be anchored to be at the very, at the top of the screen. So whatever position we have, we can move the object. What this means is that if the screen resolution changes, the object will always be anchored to be a certain distance from the top. So in my case, I want that to be quite up, and I know it will always be anchored to the top. So this is quite important because we have a default resolution here of um, an HD resolution, but someone who plays on a, for example, a bigger phone or a smaller phone might not have this exact resolution. However, by anchoring the text at the very top, we know that it will always be displayed at the top. Finally, I'm just going to change the text to money, and I'm going to say that money is zero at the moment. Now I'm going to right click on canvas again and create a new UI object. And in this case, I want to create a button. Once again, the button is quite small, so I'm going to change the width 
to something bigger. Once again, I'm going to change that to 400 and same for the height. Inside the button element, we have a small text that we barely can see. So by default, the text is using the stretching method that we, um, we saw earlier. So it means that it will always adapt to the size of its parent, in this case, the button. So what I just need to change is the size. Um, it's the size of the font. So I could just go into auto size or I could set that manually. So in this case, I'm going to say 200. And right now it's really ugly, but it shows you how you can change the size of the text. So I'm just going to put that to 100. This should be clear. And I'm going to rename the button component to be tap button. And the text, I'm going to change the name of the component from text TMP to tap button text. So here, what I've been doing about names is I've been giving every object a very um, explicit name. And what I'm going to do here is for the image that we've created at the beginning, I'm going to rename that background. So everything has a very clear name, so we know what's happening. We know what element is doing what just by looking at the name. And finally, in the button component, I see that the button has a text that just says button. So I'm just going to say tap. So here we go. We have a very basic canvas right now. And in the next video, I will show you how to apply some logic to change the money by clicking on the button. Every time you will tap on the button, it will change the money to increase it. So I will see you in the next one.